an object or an instance is its unique ID. It's um, okay, super. Uh, it's uh, a unique ID is something every object of all your uh, layout has, and it's unique. So we will want to store this unique ID, and you want to store. Okay, let me resume back. We want to get the one who has the biggest x, bi biggest sorry, biggest x position from all our checkpoints. To do that, we will have to go through all our objects, store. Yeah, 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 that's a way to do it. Uh, as I said, there are many. There's many ways to do the same thing, and that's a decent way. Actually, I will maybe use your way. Ah, Dodo, why don't I do that? That's just another way. <laughs> I wanted to show you. Uh, just this uh, this way because it works the same. <laughs> it works the same. The way you are telling Dodo is to do that exactly. That you pass a checkpoint. You have your uh, no new my way is not necessarily more ob uh, object oriented programming. No, it's just another way. But maybe you prefer that way that works as well. The problem with this way, let me think. Yeah. Um, since for now we restart our layout, the checkpoint will go back in place. If you do, the object is overlapping this object keep its position, then you go to this one, you can check the X position. Yeah, okay. Okay, I will mix and match all your uh, solution. And, uh, or maybe you want me to show you how I would have done this one, but it's indeed a bit more complicated. Okay, let's use your solution. We will use your solution. If the player overlap is overlapping a checkpoint and we won't store a checkpoint past anymore we'll check we'll store a checkpoint unique ID are ah, you prefer me to uh, continue what I was doing that's you you are the one who choose that's your course. I'm waiting for your answer. All right. There are uh, only one yes. Yes. OK, OK, OK. I have three yes out of uh, everyone. But I consider that a majority. <laughs> OK, OK. Mine is the complex one. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you have your picking here. So now you want to, <laughs> at least you see how picking works with my uh, complicated uh, solution. So yeah, you have all your checkpoint to the left. I repeated that enough, I think. And now you want which one of those are have the biggest X the most to the right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we you will have there's no other solution. You have to compare every of your object one by one. And to do a one by one thing on a set on a um, everything that is still on your calendar on your uh, password in French, on your calendar, uh, you have to do what is called uh, for each. But 
you see you have a for each ordered that's a bit what we want you can do a for each ordered so you will for each all your checkpoints I mean here on the checkpoints you picked according to checkpoint dot x and you want in descending order you want why do you want descending order because you will go just one iteration of the loop and you will go out of the loop you will have your most to the your biggest x if you do this you can then say System set value checkpoint UID checkpoint dot UID. Do you understand what I what I've done? And you can already stop the loop. Everyone understand what I've just done here? It's a bit. Uh, I'm not sure. I. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, uh, Rindon. Yeah, that's important. You have to implement graphics at some point, but uh, too soon is really a problem. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this part uh, is this part. Uh, do you understand this part? Here we keep in our global variable the unique ID of the checkpoint. It's not finished yet. Of course, of course, Schrodinger, of course, everything will be available. We will, uh, if you have any question uh, about uh, alternative way to do things, we can even during the week make example. We prefer you to come with us with the uh, KPX already made because we sh you show us you already tried to uh, to answer your own question but uh, exactly can face I'm looping through I didn't talk yet exactly about looping so it's a bit uh, hard to explain now e, um, okay I will talk about loop right now I will re-explain loop in uh, other weeks since it was uh, for the week a loop is something that loop that uh, runs in circle until the loop is somehow finished a common loop you can find in uh, c2 is the for loop you can say from 1 to 10 loop and the loop will happen instantly all the iteration of the loop will happen instantly when the the events are read you will start here here then we'll start here and start of layout but then this will be ev uh, evaluated then this then this then this will run as much as you have checkpoint that you picked as much as much as much and then it will get uh, out but here we will loop the loop will pick the same as this condition pick the checkpoints according to this condition the loop will pick each checkpoint one by one so if you picked uh, three checkpoints here the loop will run three times and, and will pick each checkpoint one by one one by one and since the forage is ordered it will pick each checkpoint but in the order of their x position in descending order so it will if uh, my character is here it will run a loop and if i have th that many checkpoints 
it will run a loop through all these instances, but in order of the x position descending. It will start with this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So what I did is I will keep the UID, the unique ID of the checkpoint, and then stop the loop instantly. So it will run the loop here and I will stop. Well done, Rundam. Well, well done. So yeah, you will keep the information, the unique ID of the object. The UID, in parentheses, in my speech, is one of the easiest and more reliable way to store uh, an object. So uh, use it uh, whenever you can. So now what we want to do is to put all our logic here and tuck it underneath our death uh, logic. Delete this solution for now. So when you die, you want to pick all checkpoints all checkpoints that are to the left, then you pick the first, the most right, the one with the X the biggest, then you restart the layout. Here you will want to checkpoint, uh, you will want to pick again a checkpoint by its unique ID. So you will use checkpoint UID and then you set the position to the checkpoint. And now we should be done. But I'm uh, the other question you should have at some point. We'll see if you notice the problem with the, this system. So let's see if it works. We don't need that. Okay, let's see if it works. Mm, I'm not in the right one. Okay, let's see if it works. I passed the checkpoint and I died. I'm back to the proper checkpoint. I re-die again. Okay. I passed the second checkpoint and I die. I go back to the proper checkpoint. I passed the third checkpoint and I die. Okay, it's working. Do anyone see a problem with this? Oh, is there uh, still a problem with uh, this uh, mechanism? Something someone didn't understand? That's uh, I can explain. There's no problem with that. Yeah, Rindon, you got it. That's the problem. If I do that, that's okay, but if I do that, I will go back to a former checkpoint. Dodo, you have another good point. This system only works a uh, one dimensional way. If you have uh, a level with many, it won't work. <laughs> And I can show you another way to do checkpoints. There's so many ways for checkpoints, you won't believe me if I told you. So many ways. Okay, the problem uh, Rindon uh, found is if I go back here, you will get uh, a no good checkpoint. So it's a, it's a real problem. Uh, what do you think? What should I do? I should uh, at some point here. Okay, it's too complex. Yeah, it's, I, I, uh, I read you, Gibran. It's too complex already. Okay. Rindon, you have the good, good, good uh, mindset. I think. Okay, what I will do? I will save this solution. 
Okay. So everyone should be happy with that. I will save this solution. Platform, I will, I will call it complex checkpoint. 